OCM. Way enough here from Kwantlen First Nation. Kwantlen is located in Fort Langley. We live on an island that uh, alongside the streamline of the Fraser River. So this week I'm going to speak to you about uh, the wolf and communication. Wolf in Hunkaminum is uh, Stakaya, which is wolf, and plural is Stelkaya. So wolf teaches us to uh, communicate clearly, which is never, you know, not easy to, not an easy task to do. It takes everyday practice. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of energy. It's kind of like for those First Nations communities who are relearning their their culture or their way, their songs, or where they're from. And a lot of the First Nations communities in this area use oral traditions. Oral traditions is teachings that date back to 20,000 years through the matriarch and matrilineal teachings. Matriarch means it's a nation that is run by women. So, I guess you can hear, it sounds like a wolf outside right now. Maybe they hear me speaking, I'm speaking outside. They've heard me over at Kwantlen. Isn't that special? So, oral traditions is a teaching that takes a lot of effort to listen, to understand, instead of listening to reply. There is just as validated as the books that you read or the online way of learning you do. And it's important that the story that you share with your friends and family, it's important to understand that it's just as valuable as our traditions and our teachings. And the beautiful thing I love about a wolf is that Kwanlin is from the, the wolf clan. We're only one clan because we're that small. So in our teaching, the wolf clan, wolves come from humility. And from humility, you live to help others. So sometimes when we're doing this type of work, or sometimes when you're trying to listen to your friends or your families, you don't feel like you're doing the work. Or maybe you, when you're doing your schoolwork, you don't feel like you're getting it right. But sometimes when you just listen or try to communicate in a different way, sometimes we don't have that language. Even though we speak English, we don't have the language to express how we feel, our pride, or our passion, or our love. That takes a lot of practice, everyday practice just like the First Nations communities on relearning their culture, finding their way back home. And it's about learning how to work with others. Yayisto is working together. This is what our community has done. It's taken several years to do that. Leadership on both sides. First Nations and the school district. So thank you for taking that time to listen and reflecting on what the wolf does and how he's able to give that information once he's able to understand it in a more clear way.
HKCM. Hey, Sapka. Thank you all.